Hi, I'm Dr. Sables from Archmasters. I'd like to talk to you today about a runner's tie. I see people coming in and they had somebody show them how to do a runner's tie. And some of the ways I don't think is as functional as it really could be. First of all, there are several different ways to do a runner's tie and probably a zillion different ways, it seems like, to tie a shoe. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. But you want to get the function out of the tie. Why do they call it a runner's tie? Not really sure. I think it's because the main thing the runner's tie does is two main things actually. One, it stops the foot from going forward so you're not jamming your toenails, getting those uh, runner toes or the bleeding underneath the toenails. The other thing is it stops the heel from slipping out. A little bit of slippage is normal, but a lot is not. Many times people have tight calves, I have to put a lift in uh, for their tight calves and their heel may slip and so I'll suggest the runner's tie and this is how I would suggest doing it. Okay, so what I see a lot of people doing is just going to this very back hole and creating a very small loop and then they'll bring the other lace across and utilize that loop and they'll say that's how they showed me how to do a runner's tie. I think a way to improve on that would be to actually go to the uncross so that you then have one, two holes, skip the one hole, go to the next hole, and create a loop on both sides. And then you're going to go across. So un unlace the laces till there's two open holes and then go into the very back hole and then we're going to use that loop as an eyelet. So that way you get a much wider belt like vector of force. Now the other trick is don't just pull it up like that where these loops hit each other. It's really not doing a whole lot. What you want to do is pull back and down and up and back and down and you can see how nice and tight that gets that. That creates a wide belt, it redirects the vector of force so that the foot cannot slide forward and it holds the heel bone back into the counter or the back of the shoe. One last little trick. Many times people will just wrap around once, it's called a throw in suturing, in surgery, when you have nylon suture, you want to throw twice. Same thing with tying a lace. Throw twice or wrap around twice, and that helps the lace hold in place a little bit better. It's not doing it with this type of material, but some other laces many times, it'll just actually hold right there. But also then you just tie it up, and voila, you have your Runner's tie with a wider loop, redirecting the vector of force, stopping the foot from going forward, stopping the jamming of the toenails, and helps hold the heel bone in place. I'm Dr. Sables at Archmasters. May the vector of force be with you. <laughs>